Uncovered using cosmic rays, Egyptologists recently announced the stunning discovery of a mysterious void within Egypt's Great Pyramid of Giza. The secret chamber is the first major structure revealed inside the ancient wonder since the 1800s. Scientists are just beginning to probe the space, and it remains unclear what lies within. The Great Pyramid of Giza, the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world, was constructed roughly 4,500 years ago to entomb the Pharaoh Khufu, who reigned during Egypt's fourth dynasty from 2509 to 2483 BC. Little is known about the mysterious Pharaoh's rule, and the only known image of him is a three-inch high ivory figurine found in a temple ruin. Located just outside of modern-day Cairo, the Great Pyramid is part of an ancient complex that includes the Pyramid Temple, other smaller pyramids, and the Great Sphinx of Giza. Originally standing at 481 feet, 146 meters, the Great Pyramid remained the tallest man-made structure in the world for 3,800 years, until an English medieval cathedral bested it in 1311. It has a base of more than 13 acres, and it is estimated the pyramid consists of 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks assembled at an impressive speed. Some of the stones, which individually weighed up to 80 tons, were transported from quarries as far as 500 miles away. A lost limestone layer, polished white, once rested on top of the remaining granite structure that can still be seen today. To complete what would be one of the largest construction projects in human history in only 20 years, the workers cut and placed an average of 800 tons of stone each day, or roughly one massive stone every five minutes, 24 hours a day, for 20 years. Archaeological evidence nearby indicates camps of tens of thousands of skilled workers supported the construction effort at any given time. Ancient Egyptians believed in an afterlife, and the pharaoh was likely entombed with jewels and valuables to assist his soul in the afterlife. While no valuables or mummies were found in the Great Pyramid, it is widely believed the absence of artifacts was due to grave looting in antiquity. It wasn't until the 9th century AD that the inside of the pyramid was explored. Western archaeologists discovered three interior chambers. The King's Chamber, complete with a sarcophagus. The Queen's Chamber, and an ornate long passage that leads to the King's Chamber, known as the Grand Gallery, a space that is described by Egyptologists as one of the most fantastic rooms constructed in the ancient world. The Great Pyramid was unique in that its tombs and chambers were built within the actual structure, instead of underneath it like most other pyramids. Since the discovery of these inner chambers more than a millennium ago, theories have crept up that other chambers exist within the structure. Some people even posited that what is known today as the King's Chamber was a decoy for grave robbers, and that the pharaoh's real tomb was yet to be discovered. In an effort to confirm the theories, an international project overseen by the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities, known as Scan Pyramids, was launched in 2015 to investigate other potential hidden chambers within the stone behemoth. Scan Pyramids relied on muon radiology, highly sensitive technology developed for use in particle accelerators, to conduct its experiments. Muons are subatomic particles produced when cosmic rays strike and rip apart atoms in the upper atmosphere. Every minute of every day, roughly 10,000 muons rain down on each square meter of Earth. A team of physicists from the Nagoya University in Japan placed muon detectors in the Queen's Chamber and calculated how many muons rain down from above over the course of 40 days. Because the particles are partially absorbed as they pass through stone, unexpectedly high levels of muons would indicate the absence of stone, or holes in the pyramid. The data from the muon detectors was used to build a map of the inside of the pyramid, much the same way x-rays are used to map human bones. After months of collecting and analyzing data, the team was relatively certain they identified a void in the pyramid, but were hesitant to publicize their findings based on a single experiment. Two additional teams of elite physicists, one from the Japanese High Energy Accelerator Research Organization, and one from the French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, worked independently to confirm the results. The additional teams used different types of muon detectors and placed them both inside and outside the Great Pyramid. All of the physicists observed a large, unexpected void in the same location above the Grand Gallery. The previously unknown hidden chamber is roughly 30 meters long, large enough to fit the Statue of Liberty end to end. The maps created by the muon technology indicate the void could be horizontal or at an incline like the Grand Gallery, and might consist of two or three smaller spaces instead of a single large cavern. 
Researchers are convinced this mysterious new chamber exists, but remain baffled by what it could be. Some theorize the space is a second grand gallery that may lead to another yet undiscovered chamber even deeper within the pyramid. It could even perhaps be another burial chamber. Egyptologist Aidan Dodson, who specializes in ancient tombs, however, says there is zero chance of a secret burial room because there was already a sarcophagus in the previously discovered chambers. He suggests it could be a relieving chamber, or an empty space intended to reduce the weight of the overall structure and improve the integrity of the grand gallery below it. Relieving chambers have been identified in other pyramids, but other engineers doubt whether the newly discovered chamber in the Grand Pyramid serves this purpose, given its unusual location. Whatever is hidden inside, it is highly unlikely that archaeologists will ever actually peek into the void. Doing so would jeopardize the structure's conservation and could trigger a catastrophic collapse. Researchers believe that higher resolution muon imaging is needed before they can begin solving the mystery.